I think one thing that makes Eastman unique is it has a really strong focus on the academics as well as the performance side. I feel like I've grown as a musician in ways that I never dreamed before coming here. You know, I think uh, like lots of us, I had lots of choices in terms of where I was going to go for my doctorate. Uh, but as a conducting student, Eastman offers so many chances to work with really wonderful ensembles and of course great teachers as well. I have an interest in popular music and rock music. And ironically, there's a big, uh, or uh, there's a large contingent of professors here at Eastman that um, have an interest in that area. And when you con combine that with the strong classical emphasis here at Eastman, it's a really, it's a very unique um, combination that you really can't find anywhere else. Eastman was founded on a different principle um, than just about every other school that you can imagine in this country. Um, it was founded in, in order to foster uh, collaboration between academic learning and performance studies. The opportunities to perform and uh, to learn from peers as well as um, my teachers have been immense. It's both rigorous academically and yet it's rigorous in terms of performance and you don't often find that balance. Everyone just wants everyone to do the best they can and, and more than anything are really excited to see great performers and great musicians around them and inspired themselves to work harder. And I think it's just a really nice environment to learn and improve in. I've been so surprised and so um, honored really to be among a group of, of peers who are interested in and passionate in so many areas, not only in, in their own instrument, but um, in other disciplines or in exploring new angles to playing the piano, to presenting concerts. Um, to teaching. I met a lot of people from Asia here. Uh, I met also a lot of people from Europe, different parts from Greece, uh, from Poland, um, from Germany, from France, and uh, just, you know, the different backgrounds they brought here. Uh, I think they were extremely rich and interesting for me. For me, it's been such a rewarding place to uh, learn my craft as a musician. They're the top people around uh, and certainly being among peers of such high talent and quality is probably the number one reason why one should consider coming here. When I compose music it's uh, not difficult for me to hear it performed and not only hear it performed but hear it pre performed amazingly. Eastman has definitely prepared me well for every performance, talking, thinking, writing, musical experience I can think of and um, I can't be more grateful for that. Musically I feel very well prepared to take on uh, a future. I learned that um, after I graduated just how many doors the Eastman name could open and then that once it had opened those doors how really well prepared I was. The programs for graduate students at Eastman, I think, offer um, such a wide degree of practical experiences um, through the graduate awards, through the teaching assistantships, um, opportunities to teach um, class piano or studio piano, um, to teach oral skills, theory, um, to be involved in music education, outreach, um, um, accompanying large ensembles, I and mean, there's just, it goes on and on, um, and these are all sort of the practical responsibilities, the kind of practical experiences that one needs um, when, in, when one is considering a, a career, um, possibly as an educator, especially as a teacher. Um, you, you absolutely need this experience under your belt. It's been a very successful placement rate, and I think that successful placement rate is due to the strong musical skills that are instilled in the students. I love Rochester. <laughs> I think it's a great little city and there's so much to offer here um, and I've chosen to live here and uh, raise a family so it's it's a good spot. A lot, of the, a lot of the reasons that people say not to come to Eastman is because they say oh my gosh I can't live in Rochester uh, it's it's so cold there it's so snowy um, I'm not gonna be able to deal with this kind of climate um, but 
Rochester is a beautiful city, and I really love Rochester. I mean, I have lived in New York City for eight years. I know the benefits of living in a big city. I know the benefits of living in a media city. I went to school in, at Ithaca. I know living in a small town. And Rochester is kind of that perfect balance of a big city with a small town feel. It's very affordable. You can get by on a student's salary. And uh, it, there's just a lot of things to do. And Eastman is a great little, uh, it's downtown, so you've got a nice little community of people here. And I really, you know, the, the snow is not so bad. And it's kind of forces you to go to the practice room and practice, or forces you to go to the library and, and study, which is really what you probably should be doing here anyway. So if you embrace the idea that art is a reflection of life and that you have to draw your sources of knowledge and inspiration from areas that you may not have expected, um, that may come outside the practice room, then I think you come to the right place here. Thank you.